Good day everyone. My topic for today is all about the overview of statistical and induction learning. So before we proceed, let us all tackle first the meaning of learning and AI. So learning is one of the fundamental building blocks of artificial intelligence or AI solutions. From a conceptual standpoint, Learning is a process that improves the knowledge of an AI program by making observations about its environment. So, statistical learning. It is a set of tools for machine learning that uses statistics and functional analysis. It is also an understanding from training data and predicting on unseen data. It is also used to build predictive models based on data and can be used to build applications for computer vision, text, analytics, voice recognition, and etc. So there are two types of learning. First is the supervised learning. The machine has a teacher who guides it by providing sample inputs along with desired output. The machine then maps the inputs and the outputs. So in supervised learning, it is where you have input variables, for example, x, and an input variable, y. And you use an algori al algorithm to learn the mapping function from the input to the output. The goal is to approximate the mapping function so well that you have a new input data, x, that you can predict the output variables, y, for that data. It is called supervised learning because the process of an algorithm learning from the training that data set can be thought as a teacher supervising the learning process. We know the correct answers. The algorithm iteratively makes predictions on the training data and is corrected by the teacher. Learning stops when the algorithm achieves an acceptable level of performance. So next is unsupervised learning it is a type of algorithm that learns patterns from a tag data unsupervised methods exhibits self-organization that captures patterns as probability densities in unsupervised learning it is where you only have input data and no corresponding output variables the goal for unsupervised learning is to model the underlying structure of distribution in the data in order to learn more about the data. These are called unsupervised learning because unlike supervised learning, there is no correct answers and there is no teacher. Algorithms are left to their own devices to discover and present the interesting structures in the data. So next is the applications of statistical learning. Examples for medical. It is predicted whether a patient hospitalized due to a heart attack will have a second heart attack. Its data are the demographic, diet, and clinical measurements. Next examples for medical is amount of glucose in the blood of a diabetic. Its data, infrared absorption spectrum of blood sample. In business and economics, predict the price of stock six months from now. Its data are company performance and economic data. So inductive learning is a learning from observation and earlier knowledge by generalization of rules and conclusions. Inductive learning allows for the identification of training data or earlier knowledge patterns. It is also a new field of machine learning known as inductive learning has been introduced to help in inducting general rules and predicting future activities. So application of inductive learning, the technology for building knowledge-based system by inductive inference from examples has been dis demonstrated successfully in several practical applications. Inductive learning algorithms 
are domain independent and can be used in any task involving classification or pattern recognition. So, its examples are making credit decisions, education, and medical applications. That's all. Thank you.